Hey everyone, Matthew again. I wanted to touch upon the Logitech C920 and the issues I was having with it in OBS and how to fix it. In case you guys don't know, OBS is one of the best streaming platforms that you can use outside of the Elgato streaming software that comes with the Elgato capture card. So basically, the issue I was having was that when you first plug in the Logitech C920 into the computer, you expect it to show up as 1080p. But instead, when you go into OBS and you add the Logitech C920 into that software, it shows up as 640 by 480, which is a problem because you're spending this money on a camera that's not 1080p for some reason. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue that myself and many others were having. And just to do a quick side note, I scour the internet, I check Reddit, I check Google, I check YouTube, I even check Wikipedia but none of them helped, none of them gave me the answer that I was looking for, and it still left me with the uh, crappy 640 by, I mean 680 by 480 quality. So, or is it 640? I think it's 640 by 480, yeah. And I'm gonna show you the personal settings that I use, which I believe are the best when you're using your Logitech C920 in OBS. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so you just plugged in your webcam into the computer and you're thinking, what do you do next? So first thing you wanna do before you do anything on OBS is you wanna go to the Logitech website. Now I'm gonna link this in the description below. So all you wanna do is you wanna download the first link right here. Now this is gonna update your drivers so that the firmware for your webcam is up to date. And after you do that, then you go into OBS. So as you can see, I already have the Logitech webcam already in the sources. So if you don't already know how to do that, all you gotta do is you click on this little plus icon right here under sources. You click here, you go to video capture device. After this, you just name it whatever you want. In this case, you could just name it Logitech webcam, Logitech C920 webcam doesn't matter you do that you press ok then after you press ok you're gonna come up with this menu here right so yeah as you can see right now this is 680 by 480 or no 640 by 480 and you want to change this okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to um, Resolution, sorry. Yeah, resolution, you wanna click on custom. Now, see, look, it already blanked out because, I'll show you. But basically, you want it to have 1920 by 1080, right? Now, when you click this, you're, you're gonna see it's not gonna work, right? So what you have to do is you have to go down here. Now, if this already works for you, that's great. All you have to do is click okay, and you should be good to go, but if it doesn't work for you, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to video format and you have to click on MJPEG. So after you click on that, bam, there you go. It's back up and running and you're going to see now it's 1080. Well, sorry, 1920 by 1080. I suck at these uh, dimensions. So basically there you go. And as a side note, since we're already here, you can just click this to full and you want to click, uh, this is the color range. You want to change that to full. And for color space, you wanna change that to 709. That, that way you have the full range of uh, colors. So then next you just press okay, and you just fix your webcam. All you gotta do is just, so, oops. That's not enough of that. I'm gonna move this guy. Just make him smaller. There you go. Make it a little smaller. Make sure you guys can see me. So there you go. Um, there's a webcam. So next off, this is the part about the best webcam settings. Now I want to make this point known that the amount of money that you spend on a webcam doesn't equate to the quality that you're going to be receiving on your stream. So what you should do after buying a webcam is focus on lighting. Now. What you can do is go down to Home Depot, buy some light housings like I showed in my last setup video, and you just put in 800 lumen light bulbs into there, 
And what I recommend is you put a little piece of paper on top. And what that does is that it diffuses the light. So when the light is shining at you, it's not one side of, of your face really light and then the other side really dark. What it ends up doing is like it makes a smooth transition from light to dark. So when you buy two or three of those and you set them up around your room, you have light coming in from different angles. You end up having nice soft light basically hitting you. Um, but fortunately, in my case, I have this big ass window right in front of me. So whenever I stream during the daytime, I get this nice natural light. And so I don't really have to go through that. But without further ado, let's go into the settings. So what you do is you go down to webcam, which is right here. You click on the little cog and you click on filters. So that's gonna bring up this window. Let me just maximize it a little bit. All right, there you go. So what you wanna do now, I already have color correction. This is the filter that I wanted to add, but you basically just go here, press the little, press the little plus button right here, and then you click on color correction. Whatever. So you click on color correction, you press okay, call it whatever you want, and you can just leave it as color correction. But basically, this this window is gonna pop up now. Now these are the settings that I use, and I have currently have it turned off. But look, once I turn it on, look how much better that looks. So what I did was that I turned up the brightness just a little bit, turned down the gamma, and I turned up the saturation just a tad bit. Now you don't want to go too overboard, or else your face is gonna look like a, a damn lollipop. All right, but. I wouldn't even touch anything else besides the saturation, brightness, contrast, and gamma. Um, but besides that, I mean, that's about it. You can copy my settings. This is what I use, but like, again, it de really depends on the lighting that's in your room. So if you have darker lighting, you might want to change this up. You might want to turn up the brightness just a bit um, to compensate for that. But besides that, look, this is, after and look this is before look how this i mean this looks like crap now compared to this this is just so much more colorful and like more intense so yeah that's about it i mean you could do other things like sharpen or image mask image mask um you could change it instead of a rectangle you could change this to a circle or a triangle whatever you want but i mean that's about it this is the only uh, filter you should really focus on right here, color correction. And once you're done with that, you press close and you see it's right here, it looks good. I'm just gonna maximize it just so you could see. But basically that's it. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um, if you like the video, give me a like. If you don't like it, dislike, that's fine with me. And let me know. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Thank you guys, peace out.